YouTube! Goodbye, now. Welcome back to more Nick Merckx. Guys, in today's YouTube upload, we're reacting to some of the most hilarious clips ever by the one and only Bill Burr. Now, I gotta be honest, man. If I had a GOAT list, this man is at the top of it when it comes to comedy. I mean, he is just the best, man. This guy's so funny. I know you guys are gonna like this video. If and when you do, don't forget to... Like the video, man. Hey, give me a comment down below. Me and the boys want to know who your favorite comedian is of all time. Guys, enjoy the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby. All right, Bill Burr. This is how they argue, stuff. as far as I can tell. Gary, last right, one? They're right, no? they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. Hey, Chad, are there any girls in the stream right now? They go off-road. <laughs> They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now. So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, woman. and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? I've never called my All wife right, a cunt, get man. mad, Bob and we, okay? It's over. The argument is over, you've won, just take a knee. I just say your tone is very snarky. Ooh, and Lord. run out the clock, all right? Yes, lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. You're being really snarky. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> no, one of my fantasies <laughs> is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of. This guy's unreal, man. Just to watch man. him lose I love, I love this guy. <laughs> and I'll just drive by real <laughs> slow. So like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> Just to look in the rearview mirror. Ladies, I warned you. I, I warned he was going to do it. Spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so one time I'm flying into Albany, New York. Okay? A city that nobody really goes to. So I'm on a smaller plane. And everything's going great. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, we hit this turbulence. Just... <laughs> right? And it stops. And everybody looks around like laughing nervously, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, huh? <laughs> All of a sudden it comes back with a vengeance. <laughs> oh. You can literally hear like the metal the planes made out of, like. <laughs> All of a sudden this dude, like three rows back, starts making like these bitchy noises, like, oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna lie, I have never been so scared in my entire life. Dude, that noise is acceptable out of a female or a child. <laughs> to turn around and see a 37-year-old mustachioed male going, whoo, whoo, whoo. Dude, the hair was standing up on my oh arms. My God. I'm praying to a higher power. I don't even believe in the shit. I just wish I had the balls to turn around and be like, dude, would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Jesus Christ, be a man. Push it down. Push it down. Deny your feelings. Act like you have answers. Do some man shit right now. Do some man oh shit. My God. Jesus Christ. No, I, I feel this like you think deep I'm, down. I'm up here in thinking, me. I am. Right, but lock it in. But exactly. How does that help us for me to join you and turn this fuselage uh. into a haunted house? You know? <laughs> You know what kills me? What absolutely kills no, me? No, I completely agree, gonna... man. Like, if you are a grown man doing that type of shit, it's a total lock-in moment. Like, what are you fucking doing? Relax, okay? Lock it in, okay? The fuck is going on right now? You're only making things worse for everyone around you. Like, oh my Fall god. Fall in love with this guy. <laughs> Marry him and make oh. half. Fucking <laughs> kids. And you know what? We become weaker as a species. We do. Not now, honey. <laughs> That's funny, though. Not when now. you talk about getting a gun, you know, people like they either totally for it or completely against it. You know, they either go nuts and start screaming, right? Chat, you got a gun? 
You got a gun or you don't got a gun? Yes or no? Whoa, a lot of yeses. Someone said a lot of them. Whoa, America. Okay, 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 okay. Start throwing up those stats. Yeah, actually, you you increase your chances of getting shot by 80 percent the second you get a gun in the house. Really? What? Because I'm going to load it and shower with it? Like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> the fuck? I know it's dangerous. <laughs> you get a pool in your backyard, you immediately increase your odds of drowning in your backyard, right? <laughs> you couldn't do that before. Now you step on a rake, in you go. In you go. I'm telling you, I don't buy into any of that shit. <laughs> Stats are so fucking stupid. You know, <laughs> not that they're stupid, it's the way people apply them. You already have your mind made up, and then you go to omright.com, you start memorizing a bunch of shit, and then you just, just throw it up at people. Oh. This guy tried to get me to go scuba diving. I go, I'm not going, I don't want to get eaten by a shark. He's like, well, actually, 90% of shark attacks actually happen in shallow water. It's like, no shit, that's where the people are. <laughs> yeah, it's called the beach. <laughs> 90% of people are frolicking <laughs> along the coastline. Not <laughs> just people swimming to Europe. Let's go to Iceland, you pussy. <laughs> right? You ever try Steve Jobs? <laughs> yeah, he died, right? I know, I know. A lot of nerds here tonight. I know, you're sad. He changed the world. <laughs> the world was one way, and then Steve Jobs came. And Dude, it was something another. happened with him Somebody, and Steve Jobs, for, love for of sure. God, what the f <laughs> did that guy do? What did he do? He told other people what to invent? I want my he, entire he music collection in that phone. Get on it! Yeah. Right? And then these poor, nameless, faceless scientists got to go in a back room and figure it out. How the f*** are we going to get all of this into this? I mean, what year does this guy think this is? This is crazy. This is like Buck Rogers. Dude, my kid has a birthday in like 11 months. Steve Jobs just walking by. I don't hear any thinking going on in there. <laughs> just strutting around he the office. He was a dick, though. Was he? Eating some pretentious fruit like a pear. I don't pear. know anything about him. Right? Just throwing out ideas. There's another one. There's another one I just came up with on the way to work. I was reading a magazine the other day, turning pages, you know? I like to turn pages on a screen that aren't even there. Yeah, wrap your fucking heads around that guy. <laughs> There's so much time I spend alone on the road, man. I actually Get on time it! On the, alone on the uh, road. I actually like cookies. contemplated milk to the point I can't even fucking drink it anymore. <laughs> Sitting there drinking, like, man, this stuff is great, tastes awesome, you know? Then I started thinking, it comes out of the carton, and I just did the police work, it, it comes out of a cow, and I'm like, I am fucking suckling for another species. Who cares, dickhead? You'll eat a steak. We have such a crazy relationship with cows. <laughs> you ever think about that? No, you, nah. you can nurse from it. You can eat it. Right? You can take it over when it's L sleeping. Joke. But if you fuck it, I'm you're a going milk to lover. Nope. <laughs> milk lover. You know when you go to get off a plane, there's like rules. I don't hear when you go to get shit. off a plane, all right? It goes row by row by row. And this lady was all like, ooh, I'm 90. I get to cut everybody, right? So I'm competitive. I start fucking boxing her out, right? <laughs> Start bringing down like the overhead luggage, you know? So she just starts like waddling around me. And all of a sudden I just feel my elbow like, dude, you're gonna take this shit? <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. The whole half of the plane is watching it. Come on, man, come on, man. Dude, we got a wide open shot. Just, just, just real light. Poof, you don't gotta hit it that hard. And then you can play it off. I'm literally talking to my elbow like, dude, come on, man. We can't do this shit, all right? <laughs> this chick's like 95 years old. We can't do it. Fuck, I thought I had my body under control, and she got like to right about there, and then I felt my foot like, dude, we could still trip her. Still trip her. Dude. I think he's my favorite. 